so I have a video for you today on the look that I'm wearing right here. This was a requested video by one of my subscribers, her name is Nicole Sabrina, and she requested that I do a couple more looks with this Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette, and one of them in specific is to use the shade Amaretto, which is this one here. Um, so I was very excited to do that. That color is beautiful, as long as you know how to work with it, because it is kind of a mm, shade. Uh, but yeah, so this is the look that I came up with. I absolutely love how it turned out. So if you are interested in seeing how I got this, then just keep watching. So the first thing we're going to do is prime our eyes with our MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And I'm applying that from the lid up into the brow and then on the lower lash line as well. Next I'm going to take this Makeup Forever uh, Shadow Stick and this is in 2E and I absolutely love this color. I'm going to apply it all over the lid and then I'm going to blend it out with that little brush. And this blends so amazingly but it's never patchy or hard to work with. They blend super super easily and so I'm just blending it with the brush and then right at that line in my crease I'm blending it with my finger and then going back in with the brush. Then I'm going to take my NYX eyeshadow when I have a headache and I'm going to use that as my brow bone highlight. So I'm going to apply it all the way underneath my brow and then I'm going to pull it down a little bit into the crease. Next I'm going to take the shade Milk Chocolate with my Sigma E35 brush and I'm going to first just dab that into the crease and this way it puts down a little bit of product and you won't get that weird skipping and then I'm going to then go in and do the windshield wiper motions. And I'm just applying this deep into my crease. I'm just using this to create a lot of depth. I'm not gonna pull this up too high. Then I'm gonna go in the shade Salted Caramel and this is on my MAC 224 brush and I'm really gonna buff that through the crease and the shade I am gonna bring up pretty high. I want this whole look to be nice and warm and smoky and you just wanna make sure there's no harsh lines and you wanna really make sure that's blended into the eye. So that's why I kept going in and working it in. Then I'm going to take this shade Semi Sweet with my Sigma E25 brush and I'm really going to push that deep into the crease to create a lot of depth to the eye. Then you want to make sure you blend. Next I'm going to go into the shade Triple Fudge and I'm using a brush just like the E25 but this one's clean and I'm going to push that into the very outer third of the crease. And then with that brush I had before I'm just going to blend everything together. And then again taking that big fluffy brush just blending everything even further. Next I'm going to go back into that milk chocolate shade with this small pencil brush and I'm going to run this along my entire lower lash line. Then I'm going to take my Lord & Berry eyeliner, this is just a black liner, and I'm going to line my upper and lower water lines with this. Then I'm going to go into that brush from, or into that color salt the caramel with that brush from before, and I'm going to buff that over the entire lower lash line. And then taking that, that pencil brush again and going back into semi sweet, I'm going to apply that on, uh, mainly focus that on the outer half of the lower lash line, but I am going to pull this in all the way as well. and then you just want to blend over everything. Then I'm just going to reapply that pencil from before, but I'm just going to push this right into the lash line and then take that brush again and blend it out. And then on a flat shader brush, I'm going in with that shade Amaretto and I'm going to first apply this dry and having that deep base there is really going to give it something to stick into and it's going to make that color really stand out. So I'm really just going to build that up all over the entire lid. And then I'm going to spray my brush with some MAC Fix Plus and again apply that product over the entire lid and this is really going to just help that shade to pop and help it to stand out and be nice and vibrant like we want it to be.
and you can see the huge difference that made from one eye to another. That just really makes that shade stand out and be nice and vibrant. So then I'm also going to take that same shade on this flat brush and I'm going to push this right into my lash line so it brings that shade on the lower lash line too. Next I'm going to take my Physicians Formula Eye Booster Pen Liner and I'm just going to do a nice thin line pushed right into the lash line. Just helps to give some depth and definition, but I don't want a wing or anything like that. Next I'm going to take my Benefit Roller Lash and I'm going to apply this to my lashes. I'm only going to do one coat um, and I'm sorry I did have a little bit of mascara on from earlier that I couldn't get all off. But let me know, do you guys have this mascara? What do you think? I actually really, really like it. I'm very impressed. So I just popped one coat of that on my top lashes, then took my Lancome Lash Primer and my Waterproof Voluminous Butterfly Mascara and applied that to my lower lashes. Then I took these, uh, this Kiss Lash Set, and this has short and extra short little like tufts of lashes. I absolutely love these. And so what I did was I applied, um, starting from the outer corner, I did three short, and then the closest to the inner corner, I did an extra short. And I accidentally lost one of the clips of the short one, but that one I put down was an extra short. You could do even more if you wanted to, but I just did those four. And you can see how natural they look, but how much they really fill in the lashes. I love them. They're so nice. Next, I'm going to take Max Rice, bleh, rice Paper, and I'm just going to pop that on the inner corner of the eye. Just thought it would go well with it. Then I'm going to take Max Strip Down Lip Pencil, and I'm going to thickly line my entire lips, and I'm going to shade the outer corners. And then I'm going to apply this Wet n Wild lipstick. This is 902C, Bear It All. And I absolutely love this lipstick, so I just applied that all over my lips. And that is all for the look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment if you have any requests. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!